happy week guys and yes I'm recording the intro to the video at the end of the week again um, so a couple of things I do not have anything as you'll see in the video but I and I did say I don't didn't do any work on the Saturn 5 this week um, between working and the couple of days I had off and then having the episode I did um, what I'm doing is I've gotten really 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 going on Frankenstein's monster which you guys will see and um, I'm gonna finish that up I got the pre-building done on the Saturn 5 and then I'm gonna work on that when I actually get Frank done where I'm very very happy to be able to give it to my dear friend so please forgive me for not getting more on the Saturn 5 done but that's coming very 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 soon um, so this week I put paint down you'll get to see that um, and I think you guys will be very happy because I'm going to say I got the base done. I did get the base done. Um, except for the other little bits you'll see. But hey guys, that's part of building, you know. Um, sometimes you think I can do two projects at once and then you get focused on one and the second one kind of takes a back seat to get done with the other one. So hey, guilty. Um, guys, please enjoy the video. And if you're new to my channel, always, always hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell. And every time I upload, you guys... Will be alerted and for you guys for you dear friends and all you great people that have been following me for the years thank you thank you thank you and um you know i, I really do love doing this and giving this to you guys so with that said i'm gonna shut up and let's get to the bench all right hey guys it is saturday and i actually got to leave work early because it's you know the end of the uh um not the end of the physical year but the end of the business year for my company so um it's let's save a buck everywhere we can huh but i have enough sick time that i don't mind um leaving early and helping my my company out um they treated me really well when i was hurt well when i got hurt so there's that but what i wanted to show you is while i know i'm trying to do both i'm gonna I'm going to do what I can on both. I'm going to do as much work as I can on Frankenstein. Then while that's curing and drying, I'm going to go to the Saturn. So like that. But what I want to show you is Frankenstein. And um, as I showed you guys, I started sanding a lot of things. But what I didn't fail to mention when you're sanding, um, besides the, the sandpaper you can grab, you might want to start looking into, let me see if I can get a better one here. Start looking into um, these sand. Oh, getting camera book. These sanding sticks. Now, getting camera. They're really great. Um, the black one's a bit rougher grit, and it helps if you get really, you know, you try to put it as thin as you can, but it still gets up thick. It helps get it down. And then once you get it down to a, a be better working, you want to go with the softer, more, gr um, you know, like. Uh, 320, 240 grit, whatever, but go soft. But the biggest thing is do not sand hard, okay? And something my daughter got me this year, and something that should have been in my 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 toolkit for a long time is these. And let me zoom out just a little bit, try to help you. Out, is these sanding sticks? Now, what I like about them, they're same as the square ones, but here you got these little points. And what these little points do really well is if you got you know, you, you, you got to get that putty sanded, but you don't want to sand the detail off or something like this on the boot. And I can show you. So, if it focus, you can see how that different there. All right, let me get back here. You can see the different part. This is an edge, then into the sole. So, you really want to keep that. It's great. And another thing these sticks are really good for is, if you can see on Frank's set, you don't want to really sand over a lot of that, the folds in the cart, the cast. And when you sand, sometimes the dust goes. You'll, I'll tell you guys, you should clean this. Watch this kit, watch this again before you prime it. But see, like right here in this little joint, I don't want to get the sand stick. I just want to get that bondo out. And that's the great thing about these is you can get in there. You can keep that detail. You're not risking losing it, but you're getting it up there. So. That's what I can tell you about that. So I'm going to get back to getting some more work done on Frankenstein, and I'll show you when we come back. All right, well, here's an update. Yes, it's getting there. Frankenstein, I just, I went ahead and 
got most of them built up because I still got to do seam work where the arms are on, on the, the chest. But one of the things I did do, and I want to tell you guys, is um, let me see if I can zoom in for you there. On his pants, you can either choose to go ahead and paint them before you put the chest together or not. Um, I went ahead and did the painting before I put the chest together because there's a little bit of space between how his jacket is underneath his pants and you know I didn't want to have that like oh wait a second they're black to 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 what's that color so that's why I did that also I went ahead and did some liquid putty here to get um because this where this meets up there's a heck of a space there now I'm still going to do some scratch building here and right here on the door um, for the top and the bottom and then I'm going to do some scratch building in here but something else I wanted to show you another piece of scratch built I did let's see if I can get that there if every reference photo I have seen and in the movie um, and I don't know why Mobius didn't add it I added this I scratch built that I went ahead and glued in the one piece because they give you the handles but in the movie and in the pictures you see there's a latch. You grab the handle and you turn it. So I went ahead and scratch built that in. Now you can if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm going to add that. I added that to give it a little bit of extra oof. But like I said I'm going to add um, uh, uh, scratch built work here on the door. Um, I'm going to uh, epoxy sculpt um, some more stonework in by the door. So it looks a little, little more natural than just a smooth surface. This is fine, and then I, like I said, I got to put in uh, the jam on top. But hey, guys, getting closer. So see you when I get some more done. All right. Well, here we are again, and you're going, what the heck am I looking at, Buck? Well, if you remember when I showed this kit and the unboxing, this is the door, and these sides. Let me zoom it out a little bit better for you. The, this was just smooth, okay? So was this. There was no um, door jam up here or door stop, however you want to call it, or any texture to the, the sides of the door here on this wall and the door opening. So what I did is I scratch built and I added the jam, the, the jam at the top, and then I filled that in with the boxy sculpt. To give it more of, because I used styrene eye beam to help give me that, that look I wanted. But then what I did was I used epoxy sculpt to smooth it out so it looks more like a jam. And then I just spent the last hour doing both sides. And guys, if you've never worked with epoxy sculpt, big hint, keep your hands wet, keep keep some water around because not only to get it mixed well, but to even apply it. So, let's see if I can zoom back in here for you. Okay, come on. So, when you're doing this, you want to get it as close to, almost as flat as you can, but with that texture that, oh yeah, that is a rock. And then, all I did was took um, one of my little, little picks, and all I did was just use that just to lightly create the detail, like so. And yes, you're going to want to have this wet too when you do it. And then, but like I said, I just kept smoothing it and smoothing it until I was happy with it. Until I got, let's zoom out here for you. Until I got what looks like, oh my gosh, that's a door. Yay. Let me see. Let me zoom out again. So yes, I got that nice door look. And it just, what I, why I did this is, well, yes, this is going to be smooth, and I'm going to paint this um, either a metal or a wood. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm trying to research the video, but up here is rock, sides is rock. So I went ahead and added the extra detail back into this to help give it a better appearance. So, guys, don't be afraid to do extra things if you think it needs it, but um, I would recommend for your for your bench having epoxy sculpt and picks if you don't have them yet so now the fun part is this thing has got to dry and I'm not going to touch this thing again 
probably for a couple of days because I just want I want the epoxy sculpt to get good and dry and I'm not even going to sand it I even used a paper towel with a bunch of little um, dots in it to help give this a little more texture so when this gets good and dry I'm going to come back and I'm going to primer it and then I'm going to go ahead and start getting this ready to go and get this all painted and be done with it so I can set it to the side and be done so yeah so another thing I want to show you guys is when you like I said with you do frame make sure you got a rubber band because one of the problems you're going to have is right here where the coat seams go together and you're definitely going to have to fill up with putty while Mobius does some really nice work on their kits some of their fits really really do suck so be, be ready for that but have some rubber band and be ready to putty okay and you know that so alright guys well that's going to wrap for tonight anyway I think I don't know you never know I'll probably stick around and do some more but until I get more done guys I'll see you in a bit I'll see you later well, it is happy Tuesday. <laughs> we know it's Tuesday. Um, got the day off, so getting back to work after running my lovely wife to doctor appointments. Because, you know, in North Dakota, we're, we're expected to be really cold right about now. And, you know, single digits, a little below zero. But no, it's up in the 40s and almost 50s. And, yeah, it's really screwing with it. But neither here nor there. So, the... Um, Epoxy sculpt on the sides are done, but I got to thinking that I also need to do this top part and because I didn't show you how to do it guys, I'm going to show you on this little piece and how easy this stuff is to work with and what you can do. So, first make sure you got everything you're going to need and then you want to get two pieces same size or close to the same size and then you just, you do this, you just mash the crap out of it. And get it all well mixed and done. And do have water standing by because trust me, as this stuff gets really good and done, it's going to get really, really sticky. And it likes to stick to your hands. It likes to stick to things. Stuff like that. If you've never used epoxy sculpt, this stuff is amazing. I love this stuff. But yeah. So that's pretty well mixed. Really, really, really good. So... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my fingers into the water and I'm just going to start with a little bit. And the best way to do this is just kind of look at it and you can, you know, do a little piece here, a little piece in here. And then what you want to do, like I said, get your fingers wet and then just start mashing it in and smoothing it out. And you don't want it to cover up the detail, so... Like I said, this stuff's going to get really, you want this stuff really thinned out. And don't worry, you can clean it up as you go. Um, if you don't want the detail, like I don't want it to really, I want it thinner than this. I mean, looking at the reference pictures, this stuff is like paper thin um, to me. The top, well, is where it needs to be. We need to make it like... It's the flattest part of the block. So, you know, just take a little bit. Make sure you're keeping your fingers wet. And just get it in there. Get it flying down. You can use whatever you need to at first. Best, best idea, like I said, is the finger. Because I'm going to keep spreading. And then I'm going to take another little bit. Like right here. Maybe take a little bit off of that. And keep doing that and I'm sorry if it's not staying in frame for you guys I do apologize but and then there's you know just taking the, the, the bits off that you need to and just keep smoothing it down and, you know if you get it too thin you can add a little bit like I said just make sure you keep your finger wet and then, yeah. And I'm looking at the top of it and it looks fine so far. So now what I'm going to do is start cleaning it up. And sometimes, yeah, you might do a little more than you want on the epoxy sculpt. 
but sometimes you're like, oh my god, I didn't mix enough, and then sometimes you're like, I made way too much. Like for this, yeah, I probably did too much, but I'll show you a trick with doing that. How to take care of? Oh my god, I don't want to waste this. This stuff is expensive, right? Yeah, it's pretty well priced, but I know what you're saying, guys. It's like, how do I? How do I keep from wasting? It? And if you get it into the block like this, don't worry if it's if it's a little gunky in there. Um, because it helps define and give you a little more. So like I said, you don't have to worry about it being in there. And then like I said, we're gonna take on the styrene that I've already done. Get this out. Sometimes you might have to really get going crazy with it just to try to get it in the best spot. Sorry about my phone going off. And, you know, just like I said, just keep. So now it's starting to really get where I want it. So I'm going to set up my finger again and get it really well cleaned up and more in and smoothed out. Like I said, it's fun. It's really great stuff to work with and have a, a pick. It comes in really handy especially when you're trying to clean certain parts out and smushed in or leave certain things where they need to be like there and yeah you can wet that too guys just to help you get a little more work And also, it doesn't hurt to have a popsicle stick or something with a nice flat surface or a little bit more rounded surface to try to take those edges down a little more. And you can wet that too, just to help smooth things out. And so, kind of like so. And then you just take your damn finger and go back and rub on it. And Keep cleaning if you have to, just to get some of that detail back. Like so. And yeah, I could take some of the overdone right there. So, and you want to clean up the little tidbits that keep falling on you. It's like, wait a second, didn't I get you good enough? And just work it back in. Don't be in a hurry guys, take your time. This stuff takes a while to get really set and firm. So you have a quite a great play time with it. So now because we have, that's done and it's gonna, well, almost done, sorry. So take your pick like this and where you kinda already got the, the formations, you know, you can take your pick and add the mortaring spots, just, you know, just like so, you know, if it seems right, and then, because you want those spots there, so, and then what I'll do is I'll smooth them again, and if they're not staying prevalent, I'll go in and do something like that, and 
Sometimes I'll actually use the pick side instead of the back side to really get those lines well defined. Like so. And pick side helps clean up some of that other stuff. So, what do you do with all the extra? Well, there's a couple things. Um, this did not have near the weight I wanted it, so here, get me back in there. So I put when I first started doing these, I made too much too, and I I added the weight to the back of this, and then I'm going to cover this with with a felt. But then you're like, well, we're going to see the sides here, right? Well, that's a right. That's a good idea, guys. So one of the things I'll do, you know, if you got extra, or you need a little more. You know, you can start. You know. Just doing stuff like, oh, I'm going to add it here, I'm going to add it here, here, just to give the, the sidewalls a little more detail, because you're adding up so much detail. So, we'll just do that. Just kind of like so, and then again, we're just going to, we're just going to work it to where it needs to be. So, and that's basically it, guys. So... Um, that's how you work with epoxy sculpt. I'm going to finish doing all three sides. And uh, when we come back, we'll start looking how to fix up Frank. All right, see you in a bit, guys. All right, guys. Well, I've gotten the, the brick done like I want to on the outside, the top, and that side. Um, took about an hour, give or take. And yes, I still fiddle um, for some reason because I'm a cat owner or... A cat a servant these guys really can just get hair where I didn't even they don't even come into my studio but dang thing they get hair everywhere so I got to pick up the little bits of hair and then all I'm doing is just taking that but yeah that's done now what I'm gonna do is let this get all really good 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 and dry and then I'll primer it and then I'll start thinking what I'm gonna do right here um, for this, I don't know if I want to try to do something like I did with the epoxy sculpt and do a little wood board or just kind of paint in there. I don't know yet. Still looking, but there we go, guys. And like I said, let's get working on Frank. Here he is, all nice, good, and dry now. And yes, the seams are crazy, especially right where, the, where his upper torso comes together and the top right here and this can be done easily with um, liquid putty but these in here I'm gonna have to sand them down just to get them to be mated or even and then I'm gonna have to work on putting some bondo in there and done and yes like I said I did went ahead and painted this and as you can tell sometimes the paint it's not gonna say because it's the funny thing is from here down it's all black except for the boots so I can touch those up when I go and paint him. But like I said, I wanted to get that underneath very well painted. So there's that. So that's what I'm going to work on now is getting these sanded down. And work on getting some putty done. And let this dry. Oh my gosh, let this dry. Because if you're like me, you like to keep playing with things. And i gotta walk, got to put it somewhere else and walk away from it. Or it's going to just drive me bonkers because I'm going to go oh I want to do some more with it oh come on let me do some more so until I come back with getting showing you what I did on Frank getting the seams done um, I'll see you in a bit guys alright guys it is Thursday afternoon and I wasn't planning on doing this today but um, I had to leave work early I, I got in I, something happened to me where with the brain injury the weird things keep happening Basically what happened is because I didn't get any, I, I didn't get enough rest, I guess, and my brain decided to play games with me. But hey, beyond that, we're back. Now, I have already done a primer coat, and I'm just double looking and making sure I like how everything is, and if not, I'm going to sand it. But next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the black highlights, do the pre-shading before I even get anywhere ready to start the, the, the rock paint on this. So, and like I said, I did a lot of priming besides getting that done. I've gotten the door all the way done. And maybe you can see the little extra detail I add. I gotta say on that, but 
that's all good to go and primed except for that one corner and the floor so um, with these things like I said I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some pre shading get some depth into the kit before I actually start on the, the coloring um, so let me get this done up and I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like okay what well, with the pre shading not not the paint yet not the big color yet but I'll be back when I get the pre shading done so see you guys in a second or in a bit okay guys well the pre shading is now done and I also before I did that I started getting Frank taken care of so one of the things I want I think I've told you guys but make sure you pre sand get this sanded really decent before you actually put any bondo or liquid putty on because the way the jacket fit they were kind of like that so make sure you get it sanded down really nice so that when you do go do the putty you got a nice flat better surface to work to hide those seams so he's all done and that's drying right now so floor is pre-shaded the door is pre-shaded let me turn that a little more this way so yep and good and the mother of it all the, the, the back wall is done so I'm gonna let these dry a little bit and kind of keep a, an idea what I want to get done um, how I want to get these to look before I weather them um, especially the floor it is wood I it, I do like way Mobius did this I know I've had some some friends that did something a lot more realistic and a lot a lot cooler but alas I'm gonna go ahead and work with this um, I wish I had their skills to do what they did but um, so getting this pre shade is going to help bring depth to the floor and Frank's drying. So guys, when I get started on the paint and I finally get it figured out how best I want to do it, I'll be back and I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, welcome back. I know I was going to talk to you about the paints I was going to use, but I kind of got into a, a zone and I kind of like, oh crap. So first off the wall, um, let's see if I can bring it up just a little bit. There you go. So basically, like I said, I did the black um, pre-shading, and then what I did with the wall is I went with um, Tamiya's medium gray, and that's XF20, and I did a few passes, you know, I, I've showed you guys how I do, sometimes I do passes, and what I did is I just barely got any color on the kit to begin with, and then the next pass, I thinned out the paint a little more, added a little bit more, and then I went on. So this is about three passes. Then on the door, I decided um, to go with a red-brown from Tamiya, and that is XF64, and its door is nowhere near done. Um, let me see if I can get in there a little bit better for you guys. Oh, bam, work. And let me turn that for you a little bit. So, as you can see, I did do the pre-shading, and then I did a few coats on this again, too. Now, I still got to do the metal work for the door plate here, the handle plate, and do the bolts. And then do some, some aging on this um, to get that finished and good. And, let me get this out of the way. And the last thing I did is... I did the floor. Oh, zoom out. Okay. So I did the floor, and I did this in a Model Masters that I've had for a while. And I airbrushed and did a light, um, did a couple of light passes with, it's a very, um, it's called just wood. And actually, I haven't used it in so long. I mixed it well, and the paint started to separate. Sorry about the phone. Um, I was able to get it down, but I, um, I'm happy with this because I still got the, you can tell the, the, the age is in there. I've already got the, the nails or the bolts through the floor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going um, to satin varnish and finish aging the floor. I'm going to satin varnish and finish doing some aging to the wall. I'm very happy with the way it looks so far, but I need to add some more um some more spots, some more aging to it. And then the door, I need to finish painting the bolts and, like I said, where the hinge is and the handle is. And then I'm going to satin varnish that and then go in and do some weathering to that. So 
that's where we're at, guys. And, um, it, yeah, it's starting to come along, and I still got to do this. Um, get the, get the, the name of Dr., you know, Frankenstein on there. I mean, this is, Fra I wish I'd say it's Frankenstein's monster and not Frankenstein. Um, but there it is. So that's where we're at, and hopefully, um, I have Saturday off, and hopefully I can get this all done up. Hold on. And it's a good idea to keep a good can of air with you to help get the little dust particles. You don't have to spray it very hard. So that's where we're at, guys. And like I said, I hope to get this all done and put together by the end of the weekend. Um, I don't know. We'll see where I'm at Saturday when I get ready to when I put this together for you guys. Um, maybe just getting the wall done in the door. I don't know yet. So, guys, until uh, I come back with more to show you, I'll see you in a bit. Well, happy Friday, guys. The end of the week. I wish it was the end of the work week, but I have to work this Sunday. But I took today off to do some more resting. Um, as I explained with yesterday, is just had a weird thing going on. And I talked to my neurologist, my neurosurgeon, and he thinks because I came off of one med and they put me on another one, that's kind of messing with me a little bit until my body gets used to it. So just want me to take some time and, and relax. So, yes, working on... The Franken, Frankenstein's Monster. So, I got something to show you. It's going to be at the end of this. Um, especially since it's the weekend. So, you'll have a lot of fun. But what I wanted to show you was I got... I went ahead and got him primed. So I could do the seams. And I want you to see if I can get the shadow off. You can see that seam line running. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Maybe. The seam line. There you go. You can see that. I got to fix that a little bit more. Um, got to do a little bit of work on this side, and then the infamous, sorry guys, I got to do a little work, more work right there, and I'm going to actually do Bondo. I tried the, the liquid plastic, um, stuff, but it's, it's not doing what I needed to do. It's not staying in there, and yes, I know, he's got semen on his pants, but I can take care of that. Like I said, I wanted to get the underneath more, um, than anything when I put this together, and... I'm going to go ahead and get started on his friends. So, yeah, guys, it was, it's been a great week. And um, I know I haven't done, I haven't shown anything on the Saturn V this week. So I apologize for that, guys, because I got started on this. Like I said, the, the Frankenstein monster is for a dear, dear friend of mine. So I'm kind of putting my time into this. And there's that. So let me... Uh, Pause this a second and I'll show you what I got done. The finish of the base. And we'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. I'm going to try not to get too much shot on it. But here is the base. The Frankenstein's Monsters base. All done. Weathered. And I'm very, very happy about that. I'll move the camera around so you can get better looks. Give you a whole overview here. So, what I did with the stone is I went ahead and after it dried. And I got it gloss protected so I could do the other weathering. I basically just dry brushed a lighter gray and then I went through with um, black wash and I brushed the whole thing and then when it got to the point of almost dry I went with a rag and I just blotted it so we were able to keep those nice dark crevices and shadows between the bricks the blocks and everything and then yes I know the floor is lighter than the door but I'm really happy let me see if I can get to some better light for you okay so there we go, maybe. So there's the door and each one of those bolts I hand painted, it was crazy. And it took a little while. Um, it's fun, it looks even better and I love the shading on it, the pre-shading I did. And then um, I also glossed this when I got it done and then I did, I just did a black wash, a very thin layer of black wash, enough to do the crevices and create sh more shadow and depth. And then I just let it dry like that. So it has that, well, Let's see if I can get that even better for you. Here we go. So it gets more of that well used and needed look. Let me turn this around and see if that helps. Okay, there we go. A little bit better. And yeah, so there we go, guys. So what I'm going to do now, after I, like I said, I'm starting to work on Frankenstein's Monster, get more done. 
is I'm going to just felt the back of this and then I'm, I'm designing, um, thinking of a base, even though this has a base, I'm going to actually make a wood um, base, incorporate this, um, and go from there. So I still got a little more work to do on it, but for the most part, the painting and all the detail work is done, except for getting just a little bit done. But yeah, so there we go, guys. I am happy with the base, and I really need to get some color and stuff down, uh, you know, just working with plastic molding was starting to drive me a little crazy, as you all guys, you know. So, but there, oh, let's see if I can get you to see that. So that's the, the scratch piece I built for it, the knob, the, the latch inside. And then, if you can tell, I did an individual styrene to make the wood boards in between the door. So, in between the pieces. So with that, guys, I am going to wrap this week, and I'm going to wish you guys a very happy weekend. And uh, a happy week, and I'll see you next time on the bench. Bye, guys.